Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to another Let's Talk MechWarrior Online. In this episode, Mech Packages. Um, and my thoughts on them. So, initially, Mech Packages were, you, you buy a package of, of three mechs, or sorry, no, um, it was you buy a package of multiple different types of mechs. So we're going to kind of go back a little bit here. Now, now and then there are obviously the odd packages where you buy one specific mech um, before. Now, like you buy like a specific, you know, special edition mech or hero mech or something like that. Uh, there are the bundles as well. But over well, the last year or two, it's mainly been like packages. So you like clan wave one package of like a hundred bucks, but you got like, I think it was eight different mechs. Uh, you got three chassis of each one. So you got a couple heavies, a couple of assaults, a couple of lights, a couple of mediums. You know, so you got multiple different mechs for, you know, for your for good bang for your buck in my eyes. Um, then, you know, Resistance came out. And you know, the whole thing was there, well, there's only four mechs, so here's the deal. You get three of each, but if you pre-order, you get four of each for like 80 some odd bucks. So there you go. You pre-order... Depending on which package you get, you get one extra mech per pack per 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 mech. So if you pre-ordered and got the wrath pack for the for resistance one, which was all four mechs, you then got four of each. So you got you know four uh, sixteen mechs, sixteen robots, um, which in my eyes was always good because it's multiple different robots, and you know everyone's got its own little specialty. Everyone's got its own little you know quirks and changes and all that stuff. And I liked it. I thought, you know what, that was that, that was a good way to do things, right? Because I can decide, you know what, I just want the light. I'm just going to go spend 20 bucks and get the light. Or I can be like, you know what, I want a nice variety. So I'll take the medium and the, and the heavy. Or, you know what, I like, you know what, I like them all. So I'm going to take all four, pay the 80 bucks, but then I also get four extra robots anyways. So, you know, I get 16 robots. Now, what I'm not liking... Is the current packaging system the way it is? Um, now, Alpha Lance Max, um, I like that because that was more of a specialty thing. Uh, they're all older robots and, and all that stuff. Uh, but now it's gotten to the point now where I I don't like the way the packaging of, of them is going. So I'm going to bring up the, the page, the window here. So this was Resistance 2. So Resistance 2, if you were an early adopter, you got one free mech for each one. If you have, if you bought the, the Mauler pack here for Resistance 2, you got one of each. Now, uh, later on they did modify the pre-order and you actually got, uh, well, Resistance 1 mechs as well. You also got your faction camos and things like that, you know. All sorts of stuff. I like this. It was, you get multiple different mechs. Each one does a different thing. Each one has its own little specialty. And... You know, one's a light, one's a medium, one's a heavy, one's an assault. It was good. In my eyes, it was worth the money. Because then if you only played, for example, a heavy mech, you could buy just the heavy. If you wanted just the medium, you could buy just the medium, and vice versa, right, with the, with the assault or, or the light. I liked it. I thought that was the best best way to package things. Um, they did that for multiple stuff. So, for example, um, Clan Wave 1, same thing, you know. It was 240 bucks, I know, which is really fucking expensive. But you got three of each max. So you got three Storm Crows, three Timberwolves, three Adders, three Kit Foxes, three Novas, three Sumners, three Dire Wolves, three Warhawks, plus a whole bunch of uh, uh, modules, a whole bunch of hanging items, and a whole bunch of badges. And, you know, premium time and, and war horns and, and all sorts of stuff. So it was more like buying an actual collection or even a bundle. You know, you're getting a whole bunch of stuff, right? You're getting, you know, overall you're getting 24 mechs. Out of the 24 mechs, one out of every three gives you a C build boost. You're getting 90 days premium time. You're getting hanging items, which obviously are worth, you know, like a dollar each technically, but still you're getting them. Um, you're getting war horns. Uh, you're getting, you know, modules. You're getting a whole literal, literal crap ton of stuff. Um, in my eyes, even though it was expensive, if you had the money, it would make sense. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. You know, it's worth it. Um, now, 
The fact that it's also a la carte down here, which was pretty good, right? Because you can buy just the Timberwolf. Boom. 55 bucks. There you go. If you bought two, it would even say, tell you, hey, it's got 100 bucks, but you're saving 10 bucks type thing. So this was okay. But then they came out with, obviously, the Resistance. So Resistance then came out, and it was two, four, six, and eight. And there you go, you get four, re four, you know, four resistance max, eight, var uh, eight variant max overall, 12 max, right? If you pre-ordered, you also got, uh, later on, when you pre-ordered resistance two, they gave you one extra of each of these four. Um, you also got the King Crab as a pre-order bonus as well, which was really good. Uh, you got War Horns, you got all sorts of stuff. So it was good, right? And you had multiple different mechs for multiple different things and it was good i liked it um my thoughts you know were i'm getting quite a bit for this so it's pretty good i'm getting multiple different things for multiple different robots so in my eyes it was worth it you can also pick the specific mech you wanted uh down here or you can pick the specific mech so if you don't like assaults but you like heavies and mediums and lights you can pick the fury pack um you know i liked it but now, now, I don't like the way things are going. Um, I believe it started with the Kodiak pack. So you can get the $20 or the $40 pack, which started pretty much with, I want to say, the Irby. It started with the $2 and the $20 and $40. And with the $40, you got the you know special, uh, one special variant type thing. But... It really started in my eyes with the Kodiak. Um, it came with the reinforcements. Um, I don't like the way this is. So first off, Hero Mac add-on. I like that idea. Where they're coming up with heroes now right away. And you pay an extra 15 bucks and boom, you have a hero. Heroes have that C-Bill boost. So that's good. That's worth something to me. Um, also on top of that, obviously you get you know premium time and all stuff. But you also get a, you know custom variant or special pattern variant which has a Siebel boost as well so you're getting you know extra money you don't have to work basically you're getting extra ways of making Siebels long term right and I like it that's that's one reason why I always like the you know the packs for, for stuff like that now what I don't like is well you're going to see it in the next one because they didn't really do it with the with the Kodiak but they added two extra ones, the Kodiak 4 and 5, for another 15 bucks. So basically what they did was they made six bucks off the bat and said, hey, we've made six. Five regular variants, or five standard variants. Uh, one special variant, which is basically just a Kodiak 1, but also a hero. So it's 15 bucks for the extra two, and then 15 bucks for the hero. 15 bucks for the hero is no big deal. This kind of cheeses me off a little bit. But, yeah, you know what? I, I can understand why they did this. It's like, well, well if, you, if you want more than three, plus the hero, you know, fine, you know, spend an extra 50 bucks. That's okay. To me, this is, this is okay. Because you're basically getting, you're, you're basically showing everyone, in the, everyone, hey, we're making new mechs. We're going to make a lot more of the new ones. We're not just making three or four at a time now. We're making a bunch. So we're actually putting a lot of effort into new robots, which, to me, makes this worth it. It's showing me that they're making the effort to making multiple, multiple different robots, multiple different types. So that tells me right there, they're putting in the effort. So that makes sense. What I don't like is what they did here with, I believe the next one was the Phoenix. Yeah. So this is what I really don't like. This is what, what has stopped me, I won't want to say from buying, but it kind of has so far because I... I feel like I'm not getting my money's worth in comparison to, say, Resistance 2. Resistance 2, you paid $80, and you got 16 mechs. Multiple different mechs, multiple different types. You know, here, you can buy this package and be happy for the rest of the game. You know, you, you, you don't have to worry about anything else. You can play these guys and have tons of fun. Because you literally have four of each, and each one builds out quite differently than the, than the ones beside it. Um, 
but Phoenix Hawk comes out. 20 and 40, just like the Urban Mech. Or sorry, 20 and 40, just like the Urban Mech. Three package, four package, special variant, no big deal. The new hero, 15 bucks, okay. Oh, hey, guess what? We couldn't come up with a, you know, for a one-time only type thing, or one mech only, we have a second hero because we couldn't come up, we, we couldn't figure out which one of the two heroes we wanted. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, look at that. They also had some extra mechs. Cool. Okay. It's 15 bucks. Ultimate pack, $85. Ultimate pack is not an upgrade option. 85 bucks. Now, when you do the math, it's 40 plus 15 plus 15. Oh, wait, no, sorry, no, it's, every, it's yeah, it's the two, it's, it's everybody. So it's no discount, it's 85, right? So you're getting four, five, six, seven, eight max for 85 bucks. Eight max for 85 bucks. That's $10 a max. Eighty dollars, thirty-two max. Thirty-two max, eighty-two bucks. Multiple different types. Eighty-five bucks, eight max. That pisses me off a little bit. So you're basically paying ten dollars per max. Not a fan. I don't like it. Um, to me, it's it kind of screams we want money. Um, it seems like they figured it with the urban mech that they could buy, get people to buy more expensive ro uh, stuff for more expensive than it will be in large packages. It looks like they figured it that if they do large packages, people expect obviously cheaper packages i mean think about this 8 max 84 bucks er, 85 bucks 16 max 80 bucks i mean now and now i will admit you you lose out on these additional early adopter ones so it's 12 max for 80 bucks but even Oops, you need to divide by 15. No, nope. 12 divided by 15. It's $6.67. So it's $3 cheaper in change than buying the Phoenix Hawk. Still. Yeah, the Phoenix Hawk comes with a hero. It's got 30% Seabill boost. But each one of these has a Seabill boost. <laughs> if you get the Mauler pack. Or it doesn't matter what pack you get. So you get the Mauler pack. Each one has a Seabill boost. No matter what you do. Each one of these. Has. A special resistance variant. No matter what. With a 30% Seabill boost. Um, like to me. This. I don't like this package. I don't like this. That, say, for example, though, you know, here's the new Huntsman, by the way. If they said, well, because they released four heavies, right? This was the Alpha Lens package. Those four mechs, 80 bucks or 85 bucks. That would have been good. Now, this is a medium. Here's an assault. All they need now is any other light. And a heavy. And they're good to go. A light and a heavy. And you're done. You got a package of four. You're going to release the package of four. Um, but yeah. That, that That's my rant today. Just the fact that. It seems like they're getting more and more expensive. Prices are going up. And it seems like you're getting less. They try to sucker you in. By adding extra heroes. Uh, I'm trying to give you all these little extra, you know, stuff. Like, they're actually trying to give you in-game actual currency now. 
6.5 million Seabill boost. I don't think they actually were giving that before, yeah. They never actually gave Seabill boosts, or Seabills themselves. Just extra build premium time, if you or, or, ordered ahead of time. They gave you stuff that, you know, was theme appropriate to the package. So, war horns, drop ships with the colors, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I don't understand why they've gone away from this packaging. I, I'm assuming it's because they can make more money. So, that's just my little rant for today. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.